Welcome to Newswatch 12 at 10. I'm Justin Betty. The first official presidential election contest of 2020 is off to a very slow start. Results from the Iowa caucuses are delayed right now. The Wall Street Journal and others reporting they're having some technical issues. Iowa's caucuses are unlike a traditional election. Iowans gather at churches, schools, gymnasiums, and they stand in a spot in the gym to physically show their pick. But if a candidate gets less than 15%, their supporters need to choose again from the remaining candidates. But state officials expected to start reporting numbers by maybe 730 this evening, expect them to be wrapping up by about now. Instead, we have no precincts reporting, zero. The next Democratic primary is in New Hampshire. That's next Tuesday. We'll bring you updates on these results as we get them, if we get them. Meanwhile, President Trump has officially won the Republican nomination for Iowa. No surprise. The president is set to give his State of the Union speech tomorrow night. His impeachment trial set to end this Wednesday. And with an acquittal now all but assured, one moderate Democrat is calling for something other than his removal from office. NBC's Alice Barr explains. The Senate will come for the order. first time in the impeachment trial of President Trump, senators who sat as silent jurors are giving their take with all eyes on a few centrists like red state Democrat Joe Manchin, who would not say if he'll vote to remove the president, but did introduce a resolution to censure him. And censure would allow a bipartisan statement condemning his unacceptable behavior in the strongest terms. The floor speeches coming after House managers and the president's lawyers gave one last pitch to sway senators. How many falsehoods can we take? The House managers bear the very heavy burden of proof. They did not meet it. The Senate preparing for a final vote on Wednesday when the Republican majority is all but certain to acquit the president. Closing arguments in Washington coming just as presidential election season opens today in Iowa. The answer is elections not impeachment. House managers calling on senators to protect those elections, arguing President Trump tried to influence the results by pressuring Ukraine to investigate the Bidens and that he'll do it again. The president continues his wrongdoing unchecked and unashamed. Despite this last push, Democrats effectively lost their case on Friday when Republicans united to block witnesses and documents. A few Republican senators conceding the president's actions were inappropriate, but not enough to remove him from office. If you find that the House has proved its case and still vote to acquit, your name will be tied to his with a cord of steel and for all of history. Senators now defending their positions before casting their final votes into history. Alice Barr, NBC News, Washington. Well, Jeff, we mentioned Iowa having some issues with their numbers mm -hmm. tonight. Luckily, your weather map's working just fine. Yeah, working just fine over here. Temperatures today, highs near 33 and Rhinelander 33 also for Tomahawk. This was fun, but cloudy again. But now we kicked in a north wind, and that north wind's going to really kick up tonight for a couple hours. And that's going to bring in some much cooler temperatures for tomorrow. We will most likely set our high temperature for tomorrow at midnight tonight. So right now we're at 21. Meanwhile, it's still 20 at Mosin. But look up here at Duluth. You're already at 8. We'll have low temperatures, most likely around 10 degrees tonight because this cold front is coming through now. And there are a couple of areas of clear skies in here as well. I expect mostly cloudy skies for us tomorrow, but still it'll be cold with high temperatures only in the upper teens. Your forecast then for tonight though is uh, mostly cloudy skies and probably cloudy skies. It's going to be cold, a bit breezy as well with low temperatures down near 10. Your full forecast is coming up. Justin. New tonight, one person is in custody after a stabbing in Wausau. Police say it happened on South 9th Avenue around 4.30 in the afternoon. Police say one man stabbed another man. The victim then taken to the hospital with non-life-threatening injuries. No names or other details have been released. A Marathon County woman accused of killing her husband back in 2006 pleaded not guilty in court today. Cindy Schulz Yedez was arrested back in October after being accused of fatally shooting her husband, Ken Yedez, at her home. The case sat cold until new evidence was brought forward. Yedez has maintained her innocence since 2006, is being held on a $1 million cash bond. No future court dates have been set. A Rhinelander state representative is planning to help introduce a package of bills, four of them, 
all concerning alcohol consumption. Representative Rob Swearingen says that one new bill would allow bars in the Milwaukee area to stay open till 4 a.m., though only on the upcoming Democratic National Convention there. Another bill would require private vendors to buy two permits, or rather permits every two years, and follow the same regulations as taverns. Well, I would argue it's about safety, right? So the public expects that if you're giving away alcohol or serving alcohol, uh, that you are going to be regulated. Another piece of legislation would ensure the state fair vendors have the proper permits to sell alcohol. A final draft of the bill is expected to be released late this month. Vice President Mike Pence visited Milwaukee last week to celebrate school choice. State Senator and Congressional candidate Tom Tiffany says he supports that and strong public schools. He says all three children of his attended traditional public schools. A common critique of school choice is that it takes money away from traditional public schools in favor of charter or private schools. But Tiffany says he helped write state budgets that consistently included more money for public schools. I believe we can do both. We can have both school choice, but we can also have good, strong local public schools. And I think the actions I've taken at the state level uh, reflect that. Tiffany points to his record of promoting a high cost transportation aid to local public schools to help lessen the burden on schools with a large geographic area. As Congressman, Tiffany says he would work to lessen the federal government's role in education. Bring control back to local people, bring it back to the states, and we will get better educational outcomes rather than trying to have the federal government solve a problem that they can't solve. Tiffany and Jason Church can be for the Republican nomination, the 7th Congressional District. They'll debate on Wisconsin Public Radio this Thursday at 10 a.m. The special election primaries are on February 18th. Well, speaking of choosing schools, parents again have a choice to enroll their children in a school other than the district they live in. The online open enrollment application period for the next school year opens this week. It runs through April 30th allow students to apply to attend a public school in a district, again, other than the one they are zoned for. However, parents would be responsible for transportation. Districts will notify applicants by June 5th if they were successful in enrolling in the desired system. Warm weather across the North Woods over the last few days melted a number of snowbanks across town. Now a deep freeze is coming to turn those puddles back into ice. But Rhinelander city officials are asking for the community's help to prevent things from getting a bit too slippery. Newswatch 12 Stephen Goen explains. Rhinelander Mayor Chris Fredrickson good, good amounts of snow still remembers how the city looked in February last year. This year the city hasn't seen as heavy a snowfall yet. In fact, warm winter temperatures are causing ice to melt all over Rhinelander. So therefore getting out and cleaning their sidewalks and everything else, it's, it's tougher to do. In 2019, Fredrickson said those sidewalks got a lot more use with community-led initiatives like crosswalk flags and the walking school bus. This winter, he He's hoping to see just as much activity on city sidewalks, but that's easier said than done with snow and ice still on the ground. In some parts of the city, this is what you could be walking on. Sheets of ice covering pools of water, creating some pretty slippery conditions. Fredrickson said there are simple ways to keep the sidewalks clear, like shoveling after a big snowfall. And even with ice on the ground, community health specialist Kyla Wachmanski says it's a good idea to get outside and get active. It can improve blood flow, your blood pressure. Um, it can even prevent um, seasonal affective disorder and improve mental health. Wachmanski says staying active in the winter should be easy in the north woods. So snowshoe, ski, um, ice skate. But she hopes people across the city will make it easier to get active right on the streets where you live. So just a community where we're all outside and safe. In Rhinelander, Stephen Goen, Newswatch 12. Kansas City's win in last night's Super Bowl is stirring up the debate over Native American mascots again. Show you how one local school district is getting involved in that debate. That's After Weather with Jeff right here on Newswatch 12. This portion of Newswatch 12 is brought to you by Ag Country Farm Credit Services. This means jobs for northern Wisconsin, and this means lots of jobs. That's why Tom Tiffany fights to protect our timber industry. In the state Senate, Tiffany fought tirelessly against job-killing regulations and is leading the charge to fix transportation issues that threaten the timber industry's future. Call Tom Tiffany, thank him for cutting reckless red tape, and ask him to keep fighting for Wisconsin jobs and Senate Bill 404. 
The U.S. Chamber of Commerce is responsible for the content of this advertising. What you see is important to you. How you see is important to us. We're Shopco Optical. You'll see. Now get a Ford F-150 with 11489 in total estimated savings, or get zero for 72 month financing. What are you doing? Dude, I'm so excited. I just can't wait for summer. Can't wait to get on the water? Then get to the biggest and best boat show only at American Marine and Motorsports in Shawano. We'll beat any boat deal by 500 bucks. Lowest prices guaranteed. And don't forget the prizes. Over $40,000 worth, including a free pontoon. Don't get left out in the cold. Get to the American Marine Boat Show. Shawano. Hi, I'm Dodger from Ho-Chunk Gaming Wittenberg. When I want my forecast for Wittenberg, I go to WJFW.com and check my hometown weather. Your hometown weather, available 24-7 at WJFW.com. Well, we were back in familiar territory today with lots of clouds and temperatures back in the low 30s. A very above average winter so far, also wetter than average. Uh, we'll get some more weather in here later this week, but until then, we are looking pretty dry around here through at least Thursday. Looking outside now, it's 21 in Rhinelander with a north breeze at 6. Over in Wausau, 26 for you. Under cloudy skies there, north breeze at 9, making it feel like 17 in Wausau right now. And here's the problem, though. So the warm weather right now is residing in the parts of central Illinois back in Indiana and Ohio. This there's a cold front sitting right about right through there and look at these temperatures to our north and west currently. It's four below in Grand Forks, one below in International Falls. That's the air coming away for tomorrow, but really just for two days for tomorrow and also for Wednesday before we get temperatures back up in the 20s once again. So expect a very cold night tonight and a cold night for us tomorrow night as well. All right, so this purple stuff has kind of been hanging out by Hudson Bay. This is the really, 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 really cold air, and it's largely been missing us all winter long so far. We flirt every once in a while with it, but it never really gets in here. And still right now, no signs, at least next 8 to 14 days of it getting in here anytime soon. So expect more of the same. So tomorrow 19, 21 for us on Wednesday. Then here we are back in the middle 20s for Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday uh, into most likely in middle portions of next week. But we are going to begin to get a stormier track in here as well. It's been quiet for a week or two around here weather wise, but next week probably not so much as several systems are coming our way. And speaking of snowfall so far season to date, we've had 66.5 inches in Rhinelander uh, by this time last season. We already had 35.6 so well ahead of the mark but again it's been quiet for a couple weeks around here but we definitely have more snow to get through here's our snowpack now it's 18 in Rhinelander 16 for Wausau 37 Marquette so a healthy uh, very kind of crusty snowpack out there right now we're going to begin to add to this though later on this week into next week with several systems coming our way Looking outside now, Monaco, though, looking pretty nice out there, right? Uh, cloudy sky, but the streets have a nice little sheen on them. Everything that melted today and yesterday is beginning to refreeze out there now. It's going to be a little slippery around town. Same thing here in Plover. Lots of snow on the pond there as well, uh, but the roads, are, the roads are looking pretty good here in Plover as we speak. All right, so looking outside, currently the front sits right about right through here. You can see it, uh, but this will kind of push to our south and east tonight. We could get a couple hours of partly cloudy skies this evening. That will allow temperatures to drop like a rock because this front's coming through as we speak and that high pressure right there. It's a very cold area of high pressure. It will be in here beginning tomorrow. So future cast shows this is going to go in through Wednesday through Thursday into Friday. So the next system will largely miss us late on Thursday. I'll put this in motion though into next week on Wednesday into Thursday. And here you go Friday night into Saturday. We're going to watch this system come by later on the weekend on Sunday. That could bring us some healthy snow later on Sunday afternoon. Your forecast though for tonight though is mostly cloudy skies. Let's 
temperatures down near 10 or 11 with a west breeze around 5. For tomorrow, all right, partly cloudy high temperatures stuck in the upper teens with a calm wind through the afternoon. And then looking ahead, your seven day forecast by Northwoods Furniture shows pretty quiet tomorrow, Wednesday, a couple flurries Wednesday night, Thursday into Friday morning, followed by there's that snow chance for Friday and our chance for Sunday into Monday of next week. Justin. Well, folks in Kansas City are celebrating a Super Bowl victory tonight. Others are voicing some concerns about the team's nickname. Look at the new local push to ban Native American nicknames and what viewers are saying about it. That's next on Newswatch 12. What does it mean to fight for what's right? To us, it means helping accident victims get their lives back to normal again. Habish, Habish, and Rotier, we fight for what's right. I'm Tom Tiffany. I'm a husband, a father, a proven conservative reformer, and I'm the dam tender on the Willow Flowage, so I know a thing or two about holding up under pressure. I'm asking for your vote on Tuesday, February 18th because President Trump needs proven reinforcements in Congress to stem the tide of socialism, to keep our economy flowing strong, and because nobody knows how to drain a swamp like a damn man. I'm Tom Tiffany, and I approve this message. Beautiful selection of engagement rings and wedding bands at Bassett Jewelers. Choose from our in-store selection or design the ring of your dreams. We carry an array of beautiful designs to fit every budget. If a wedding is in your future, make Bassett Jewelers in downtown Monaco your one-stop shop. When being sick isn't as bad as not knowing why you're sick. When questions lead to confusion. And angst and anxiety. When it feels like there's a tiger chasing you into the darkness and all you want is a little light, a little hope. This is when you need the best of the best. Doctors who don't just perform cutting edge procedures and treatments, doctors who invent them. UW Health, remarkable medicine, remarkable care. Hi, I'm Dr. Justin Scherer, DC with the Spinal Aid Center of Wausau. Are you one of the millions of people suffering with the symptoms of peripheral neuropathy? Your symptoms may include numbness and tingling in your feet or hands, difficulty sleeping from leg or foot discomfort, and debilitating balance problems. I have good news for you. You can now get relief with our breakthrough treatment method without the use of drugs or surgery. Our treatments help to heal damaged nerves that cause peripheral neuropathy. If left untreated, you may eventually end up with a walker or wheelchair, so don't delay. Call our office now to schedule an appointment to see if our treatment methods are right for you. We will do a painless neuropathy severity exam to determine the amount of nerve loss. If you qualify for our treatment, it can truly change your life. Start living your life pain-free. Call today. Coming up on a Tuesday, it's American Heart Month, so we'll be talking about cardiovascular disease in this week's Nursing the North. And it's also National Homemade Soup Day, so Golden Harvest will show us a few recipes. And we have some more sunshine and chilly temperatures on the way. All of the details coming up on your Tuesday. This portion of News Watch 12 is brought to you by Furniture and Appliance Mart. Kansas City Chiefs quarterback and Super Bowl MVP Patrick Mahomes was a special guest at Disney World today, where he also led the parade through Magic Kingdom. The 24-year-old is the youngest player to ever win Super Bowl MVP, helping rally his team from 10 points down to a 31-20 victory over the 49ers last night. With the Chiefs' victory in Super Bowl 54, Kansas City earns its first Lombardi trophy in 50 years. Well, that's plenty of reason to celebrate for many folks in Missouri and across Across the Great Plains. Their success has also drawn more attention to the controversy involving Native American mascots, including a push here in Wisconsin to get rid of them. News Watch 12's Maya Reese has details. Kansas City is currently celebrating their second Super Bowl championship in franchise history. While this is typically a time of joy and happiness, some people boycotted the Super Bowl as a whole. Wausau School Board representatives disagree with the team name, the Chiefs, 
and presented a resolution to support removing Wisconsin mascots similar to it. A resolution to retire Native American mascots, logo, symbols, nicknames, and imagery in our public school district. Trisha Zunker worked with the Wausau School Board to submit this resolution to the Wausau Association of School Boards at their annual convention a few weeks ago. She says studies from the American Psychology Association calls for an immediate removal due to the harmful effects of racial stereotyping and inaccurate racial portrayals. This is not a matter of personal opinion. It is a matter of educational policy. It is never good educational policy to stereotype against an entire race. We took to social media to hear from people in the Northwoods on whether or not they think sports teams should retire Native American mascots and logos. Some believe using their likeness should be seen as a positive tribute to the indigenous people. Linda says they use the name Chiefs because it is a term of respect and is something to aspire to. It is not trivialized, same with the Warriors. Kathy says it depends. Chief is not derogatory, but Redskins is. Others find it inappropriate and offensive to stereotype an entire race into a mascot. Cindy says schools in Wisconsin had their teams change their names. Immigrants took Native Americans land, so where is the respect? Maybe they should get a royalty for everything Chiefs merchandise purchased. Cheryl simply said no, hard no. You can join the conversation on social media to chime in with your opinion on these types of mascots by visiting us on Facebook at WJFW Newswatch 12. Local high school wrestlers are gearing up for their conference meet this weekend. We'll hear from the defending champs looking to build off a dominant regular season. That's up next right here on Newswatch 12. Number of uninsured Americans rising. The cost of prescription drugs rising. The threat to people with pre existing conditions rising. The good news so is support for the one candidate who'll do something about it. As mayor, Mike Bloomberg helped expand coverage for 700,000 people, including hundreds of thousands of kids. As president, he'll lower drug costs and ensure everyone without coverage can get it. That's a promise, and unlike him, Mike actually keeps his. I'm Mike Bloomberg, and I approve this message. Hi, I'm Joe. I'm from Alpaca. I came to see Dr. Sher because I was having severe lower back pain. It was, it was so bad that I could only walk about 20 feet without having to sit down again. After seeing Dr. Sher, I have absolutely no pain. Can't thank him and his staff enough. How do you thank somebody for giving your life back? Are you suffering with back or neck pain and considering the possibility of surgery? At the Spinal Aid Center of Wausau, we incorporate the latest technologies, including high-intensity laser therapy that provides the highest success rates in helping people just like you avoid back and neck surgery. With our treatments, there are no drugs and no surgery, just relief. Call today for a free spinal disc severity consultation and see if our treatments are right for you. Call 715-203-4392 or visit us at SpinalAid.com. Start living your life pain-free. Everyone sleeps at Tomahawk Furniture and Gun with prices so low you'll have to bend over to see them. Prices that make your eyes pop out. Want to sleep watching TV? Check out our recliners. You want to pass up face first in a sofa? Check out our sofas! And beds! We've got beds! Check us out! Price is so low you'll think we're crazy! Because everyone sleeps at Tomahawk Furniture and Gun! Dear Jack Frost, people say you've got ice in your veins, but underneath it all, you're just a big old softy. Go ahead, try to nip at our toes. Thanks to our available remote connect, we'll be toasty and warm and ready to go. Warm wishes, Toyota Cars. Right now, get $1,000 customer cash on a sporty new 2020 Toyota Corolla. Find yours at buyatoyota.com. 
Toyota, let's go places. Wrestlers hit the mats in Medford this weekend for the Great Northern Conference meet. An appropriate location considering the Medford Raiders have dominated this year. Newswatch 12's Andrew Goldstein took a trip down to Medford today. He joins us now live in studio with more. Andrew. It's not just this year, Justin. The Medford Raiders have won the GNC in two of the last three seasons. They were regional champs last year and even had a wrestler win an individual state title. Now they're looking to get back to state. This time, though, as a team. The Medford Raider wrestling team thinks this year could be something special. Going into it, I figured that we kind of had the, the dream team, you could say. For head coach Brandon Marcus, it's a dream team he's groomed since middle school. We always have high goals, you know, so we're working to achieve high goals. Um, so, you know, this is about where we thought we'd be. Together, they've completed an undefeated run through a tough Great Northern Conference. That's Jake Rao in the black shirt. He already won a state title in the 220 pound division, and the only thing more significant would be a team championship. Everybody dreams of going to individual state, and I feel like that's, that's peanuts compared to team state. You know, these are your brothers. These are people that I've wrestled ever since I was three years old with. The Raiders are a lot more than just Rao. Six of them are ranked in their respective weight classes, including Clay Bow, who's over here in the orange shorts. We have a lot of tough wrestlers, um, and they prove it almost every time we wrestle someone else. Work hard, practices are tough, and they push through it. It helps that in Raider country, wrestling is a way of life. Just to see the bleachers full of people is just awesome. From when I was young to like now, it's just, they're packed. With the town behind them and the state meet in front of them, the Raiders hope to do their community proud. Ever since Coach Marcus came to Medford, the Raiders are 18-2 and two in conference dual meets. They say they're ready to see Ellsworth again in the sectional round this year. Seems like a team that could make it to state. We'll be right back after a short break. Stay with us. What are you doing? Dude, I'm so excited. I just can't wait for summer. Can't wait to get on the water? Then get to the biggest and best boat show only at American Marine and Motorsports in Shawano. We'll beat any boat deal by 500 bucks. Lowest prices guaranteed. And don't forget the prizes. Over $40,000 worth, including a free pontoon. Don't get left out in the cold. Get to the American Marine Boat Show. Shawano. Your eyes are everything. They're how you see the world and connect with others. At Shopco Optical, your eyes are everything to us, too. Which is why we offer everything to help you see better and look better. A huge selection of designer frames, convenient locations, and experienced optometrists. We're Shopco Optical. You'll see. Now get a Ford F-150 with 11489 in total estimated savings, or get zero for 72-month financing. When we say every Culver's Butter Burger is cooked to order, here's what we mean. Could I get a Butter Burger? The Culver's Deluxe, please. Ketchup, mustard, pickle, and onion? Craig Culver, I'm going to cook for you. Follow me. I would love to. Come on, to. Man. Fresh beef. It looks great. <laughs> And we're looking for that nice sear, just like we got right here. That's where that great steak flavor comes from. Totally fresh, made to order the way you want it. Searing it to perfection is really cool to see that. Welcome to Delicious. No matter what pops up during your day, Ascension makes it easy to get the care you need. Anytime, from anywhere. Now you can see a doctor online, right from home, 24-7. Check in online for urgent and ER care. Or even schedule a visit with a primary care doctor. You'll find it all at GetAscensionWisconsinCare.com with locations across Wisconsin. Hi, I'm Dean Hoger with Miracle Ear of Ryan Lander. If you're struggling to hear your favorite news and entertainment shows, stop in and see me for a free hearing test. 
All right, buddy, temperatures are hanging out in the 20s right now. We'll most likely set our high temperature for tomorrow just after midnight tonight as colder air filters in the region. And we'll have highs tomorrow most likely in the teens throughout the afternoon. Uh, the skies are beginning to clear out. This is not great news for temperatures as that will allow temperatures to drop very quickly tonight uh, into what could be the single digits for a few of you uh, by tomorrow morning. But here's your seven days. So cold day for us tomorrow. It's been a while, right? Wednesday, 21, followed by back in the middle 20s or so. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. A pretty good chance for snow showers Friday and then again Sunday as we get into next weekend. All right, by the way, still no numbers from Iowa. We hope to have some for you on Newswatch 12 today in the morning. You can check them out and find out then. We'll see you. Have a good night.